So I've already primed my lid with Urban Decay Primer Potion. And next I'm going to um, put... Oh, excuse me. I'm going to put some of the milk from NYX onto the lid as a highlight. Um, I have one depotted. This is this. Just depot it. If you want to know how to do that, um, I have a video on that. I can link you the video. But yeah, so I'm going to depot it. NYX. I'm just going to get some on my finger. If you're doing someone else's, I would use a brush. But this is my face, so here we go. I'm going to put some of that on there. It just makes the color pop. And I'm dabbing it on, not rubbing it because it's not lotion. And you still want the white pigment to be there. And this, if you don't have an oily lid, this makes a perfect primer. So, um, this whole tutorial is going to be around the Wet n Wild Vanity Palette. And as you can see, I love this. This is like my go-to look. What it actually is when I don't have time to do something crazy on my eyes. And this is my go-to look. As you can see, look at that, it's horrible. And this is my third or fourth one. They sell this at Target for like $3.99, so. And it's the Vanity Palette from Wet n Wild. So I'm using a flat brush. And I'm getting some of that gold. And I am going to be placing it over most of the middle of the lid. Actually, all of the middle. And I'm just dabbing it on there, bringing it up to where I want my crease to be, because I have a hooded eye. So this would be my crease, but I'm bringing it up here. I have two more colors I'm putting on, so I want to leave this side clear. I'll go to about right here, and then to the cheekbone right here. Just like so. Okay, next, <clears throat> excuse me, now I've got them done, I am going to be using the shimmery brown. See, this is a dark brown. I'm going to be using this brown right here. I'm going to be using the Sigma E25 brush, as you can see that, and um, I just want to show you the famous brush from MAC, which is a 217, can you still see it, yeah, it's the MAC 217, it's supposed to be the most amazing brush there, which it is, it's like a really good, good, good brush, but this brush costs $27, so I only have one, I want you to see it, and then I want you to see let me get my Sigma brush. Yeah. So I'm going to put my Sigma brush next to these two. And I want you to tell me which one you think is the MAC and which one you think is the Sigma. Now my brushes are stained because I use color eyeshadows. But I just want you to see, other than the color, because of course one's green and one's red because of my eyeshadows. Which one do you think is which? You can't tell, can you? One of these two brushes here costs $27, and one of these brushes costs 9 Can you tell which one? You can't. Yes, this one is the Sigma brush, and this is the MAC brush. And they work exactly the same, um, and actually the Sigma brush is a little longer which in the handle, which I love. So yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there because I did have a question about that, which I'm going to do a whole review on the Sigma brushes anyway. But yeah, so yeah, I'm going to use the Sigma brush. I don't hardly use the MAC brush because it cost me $27. So, so I'm going to be using that blending brush. And I'm going to dab some of that brown right there. See, right there, just like so. And I'm going to come to the outer corner. Man, I should have really plucked my eyebrows before I did this tutorial, huh? Oh, well. Deal with it. Anyways, so I'm going to start right here. And I'm blending it in to the gold. I'm dabbing some more and into the gold. Okay, and then right here I'm just going to run it back and forth. Just like that, okay? And now what's left over the brush, I'm coming here and just swishing over back and forth, kind of like a windshield wiper. Back and forth. Just like so. Very simple look. I'm going to grab a, this is this one I think I got off of eBay. It's an eyeliner brush. A real skinny one. And I'm going to be grabbing the dark brown. Cats are fighting in the background. Kids are singing in the background. Birds hollering. 
Welcome to my world. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to be grabbing some of that. Oh, sorry. I'm going to be grabbing some of that. Tap it just a little bit. And I'm going to be applying my eyebrow. Yay, eyebrows. Okay. Okay. Next, above that gold is this awesome shimmery white wonderfulness. Look at that. Right there. You see that green? That was made for me from Miss Gabby. Ain't that pretty? But anyways, there's a tutorial on these nails if you want to check it out. I'm going to grab some of that with the same brush that I used for the gold. I'm just getting a rag and wiping it on a rag. That's all you need to do. Hello. Say hi. Hi, YouTube. I can't see you. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> hi, YouTube. <laughs> okay. Anywho. Not here. No, I got your wallet. Don't worry. Let me finish. So I'm going to grab some right of that here. right there. Just like that. I'm just patting it on there. I'm not even going to dab that off. And right here in the corner, I'm just going to rub that in to the gold. Bringing it slightly into the corner like so. And then right here, back and forth. like so we're almost done with the look for the final step I am going to be grabbing this very pale pale color here right there with a little brush like this it's like a smaller blending brush I think it's a crease brush it's an eye contour brush but whatever just a small little blending brush and I'm gonna be dabbing some of that I really love this is like my favorite highlight of all highlights okay and I'm not really, I'm not going to tap, well I just tapped it, but you don't have to tap it. And I don't think I have to tap it because I'm so pale. So I'm just going to rub it, starting from the eyebrow, and then slightly into that brown. Blending those colors together, like so. Now, if you wanted to, which I don't want to, you can grab some of that brown and line under your eye. I don't really, really feel like doing that, so I'm not going to. Okay. This is, some days I will go under the eye with it, but I'm not going to today because I'm going to be out with the boys and it's just going to be a mess. So. Next, I am going to be pulling out my, well actually, what I'm going to do here because it's, I kind of went a little farther out. I don't want to. I'm just breaking out so bad. It's not even funny. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm just going to grab a Q-tip. And I'm going to grab some makeup remover from Icing. I'll dip that bad boy in the makeup remover. And I am going to wipe off any access to sharpening up that line, just like so. Okay, it's called Extreme Coffee from NYX, and it is a brown eyeliner. And it is absolutely my favorite, is brown eyeliner. Oh my god, that hurts so bad. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to water eye. Ugh. Watery eyes. Hmm. I'm gonna line the water. No, I'm, not. I'm just. Uh... So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna line the top. I'm not gonna wing it out or anything. This is a very plain look that I just wear to work. It's like my everyday look. Next, if you couldn't guess it, I am gonna be using Super Shock from Avon in black. And that's mascara, by the way. Okay, next I'm going to be adding an eyeliner, and this is from Ulta, and this is in, what is the name? Do you not have a name? Oh, bronze. So I'm going to be applying that to the waterline. That is the final look to the eyes, and this is um, an everyday go-to look for me. I wear this most of the week because I'm running behind most of the week. So yeah, I am going to put the rest of my face on, and I will see y'all in a minute.
Guys, so this is the final look to the eyeshadow. It's a very easy, simple look, and um, I hope you enjoy it. Enjoy this tutorial, and I will see you guys at the next video. And as always, God bless. Bye, guys.